I'm Teddy Lazarus, Technical Coordinator for Phillips 66 Lubricants. I'd like to welcome you to another segment in our series of engine teardowns. Today, we're gonna to be showcasing our Gardol ECT 15W40 heavy duty diesel engine oil. What we're gonna to show today is that Gardol ECT is best in class. Let's dive into the parts. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a Caterpillar C27, 27 liter engine, off-road use. This was running in a D10T dozer. Um, it ran 14,500 hours with an average of 500 hour oil drains. We'll start out here on the bottom end, focusing on the rod bearings. This is the upper rod bearing, so it's a load carrying portion of the bearing on the connecting rod. You'll notice that there's a little bit of cavitation erosion and some medium wear. Did run past budgeted life, but overall really good. Looking at another set of bearings, this is the lower main bearing. So the weight of the crankshaft rides on this. This is your high load zone. You can see that there is some debris tracking with this scratch. You can see the copper on the backing of this bearing. That likely happened during assembly. Overall medium wear again, look really good. Upper mains look nearly new. Um, again, they don't carry a lot of load. This looks really good for 14,500 hours in this high load, high duty cycle application. Let's start moving up the engine. We're gonna talk a little bit about the connecting rod. Pretty much nondescript, but one thing I do wanna focus on is the wrist pin area. This is where the wear is gonna be. And you can see that this bearing is in really good shape. The oil pulls are still very well pronounced. Not a lot of excessive wear. Looking at the piston, we're focusing on carbon deposits. We're looking for any sludge buildup on the bottom of the piston. The bottom of these pistons are really, really clean. This speaks directly to the dispersancy and detergency of our product. We do see some heavy carbon right up in the top ring groove. The lands all look pretty good. A little bit of heavy carbon in the second ring groove, but the oil control ring has no carbon at all. So these look really good. Had a nice even spray pattern on the top of the piston. So the lubricant performed very, very well in this application. Finishing up the pistons, guys, let's take a look at the liners. Again, knowing that these ran 14,000 hours, these look really good. There's still quite a bit of crosshatch that's visible. We do have some polishing at the top and bottom on the turnaround points. It does look like there's some scarring on it, but I think that happened during disassembly. These look really good. Overall, medium wear. Let's look at the valve covers. These have not been washed. So this is 14,000 hours of operation. There is no sludge, there's no varnish. This looks virtually clean. Also looking at the another thing on the top side there are the engine crankcase breathers, okay? You don't see any sludge build up in these at all. While we're here, let's take a look at the oil pump. Again, really focusing on how well that dispersancy and detergency is working. We don't see any sludge or buildup on the inside of this oil pump. You can still see the oil inside, but there's no buildup in any of the corners or crevices. And looking at the oil pump gears, very little wear. These look phenomenal. Um, excellent for 14,000 hours. Again, it just speaks to the quality of our product. Now we're gonna start moving into the top end of the engine. This is where the majority of your wear is gonna occur. So we'll start right here on the rocker arm assembly themselves. This is a dual overhead cam setup. So we're dealing with roller rockers, cam followers, and when we're focusing on the rollers, we're looking for anything that shows excessive wear, and there's absolutely none. These practically look new for 14,000 hours. Same can be said on the injector rocker itself. Again, those rollers are virtually clean, okay? We also look inside at the bushings. Medium wear. All the wear grooves are very pronounced. Everything still looks really, really good. We focus on the button end of the rocker itself. This is where it contacts. This one would contact the injector. But this is where it contacts the valve, okay? 
Okay, moving on into the rocker shaft itself. So this is where the rocker arms ride. You can see across there, again, nice bright surface, no scratching, no deep wear marks, little to no wear on the rocker shaft. Okay, to wrap up the top end, guys, we're gonna talk about the camshaft. Again, we're looking at medium wear. This looks really, really good. The wear points we're focusing on here are the journals. So this is where the cam rides in the head on the cam bearings. This all looks really good. The other area we look at are the cam lobes themselves. These are critical. This is where the rollers on your rocker arms ride. These look phenomenal. There are no scratches, no pitting. Overall in really, really good condition. Okay, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the heads here. We're gonna be focusing on the valve stems themselves, looking at the wear on top of the valve stems, and then focusing on the wear on the cam bearings themselves. The other thing we look at, again, looking for deposits, we're looking at the oil that's laying on top, okay? We have a lot of wet oil, but there's no sludge, there's no varnish. Looking at the valve stems, very little wear. As I've said from the beginning, this engine ran 14,000 hours. We're showing medium wear, but virtually no wear on the valve stems themselves. Looking at the cam bearings, we show medium wear, but no deep gouges, no extreme wear. Overall, really, really good. Okay, to wrap up today, we're gonna focus on the crankshaft. So it's focusing mainly on the rod bearing journals and on the main journals, okay, on the crankshaft. As he's pointed out when he was talking about the rock main bearings, we did see some debris tracking on the number four journal. And you can see that very pronounced on the bearing itself. So what we're looking for is to see if that pattern transferred to the journal itself. It did not. Same can be said for the rod journals. Very smooth, no scratching, excellent condition. Not only does Gardal ECT provide superior protection and mining equipment, it also is a best-in-class solution for a number of other applications, such as agriculture, industrial, and heavy-duty trucking. Gardal really does guard them all.